Good afternoon, 11x1, and welcome to the end of your third week of remote learning and lockdown 3.0. I hope everything is going well. Um, so today we're going to do something a little bit different than uh, what we've been doing for the last two weeks. We've just completed two weeks of non-fiction study based around uh, excerpts of sports writing, whether a match report, something autobiographical, uh, something from the 19th century or something a bit more contemporary. And we're going to bring that all together into a, a bit of an assessed piece that's a bit like an English language paper too. But we're not going to do that today. I think it would be good to take a, a moment to rest from the non-fiction work and give me a chance to catch up on checking over the work you've done. Uh, so I can give you some feedback before we move towards any kind of formal assessment. Okay. And that's what I want to talk to you about next is assessment. And what that means at a time when we're not exactly sure uh, how you will be assessed as GCSE pupils. So as it stands, we still don't know exactly what form your final examination or assessment or whatever will take. We're still waiting to hear back from the government on that and for them to make up their mind as it were. Uh, and you may have heard all kinds of rumors and suggestions, but the fact is we don't know yet, which is fine. Fortunately, since last year's year 11s went through something similar, we do have some ideas of what we can do to best prepare you and ourselves to ensure uh, the grade that you achieve is the fairest possible, uh, as accurate as possible, and it also gives you the best chance to uh, present the best of your ability forward, despite being in lockdown, especially since we don't know how long this will continue for. We should all be back in the classroom um, before final exams would come around, but we don't really know yet. So what are we going to do? Well, all year 11s, so not just 11x1, but every year 11 class, are going to be doing some weekly assessments. And these are more to assess progress than to determine some final grade okay but what it does do is provide teachers with an example of your work and all the key areas that we need to study and allows you to demonstrate the progress that you're making i'm going to set some work for you today for you to complete uh, either today or over the weekend uh, i need it submitted by you uh, by the end of sunday and during this weekend, I'm going to try and catch up on all the other work you've done for me. I need to get that assessed. And going forward, uh, every Friday, I will set for you another uh, progress task that I can assess to check how you're progressing in the key areas of study. Today, we're going to focus on your English language paper one section B skills. Uh, if you don't remember what that is, we're talking about creative writing. So this is the Edexcel task where they will give you two pictures and they will ask you to write something creatively, uh, narrative writing, fiction writing, usually, although it could be biographical, uh, and it could be uh, real or imagined. And it's a chance for you to show off um, the best of your creative writing skills. We did quite a bit of this before the uh, breakup for Christmas. Well, I say quite a bit. We did some of this before the breakup for Christmas. Uh, and we had a chance to dive into some of the skills for the narrative writing, for the creative writing. So I feel pretty confident that 11x1 will be quite good at this. You felt yourself when I asked uh, about the narrative writing skills, you seemed to, to feedback that you felt quite confident about it as well. So you should do well with this task, I hope. Let's turn to the task now. You can see it on your screen. It is laid out in the normal format for the creative writing piece. You've got two images to focus on to give you some inspiration, though you are, of course, welcome to completely ignore it and work purely from your own imagination or from any other inspiration you might find lying around at home or outside your window. There are two questions. You do one of the two questions. Let me repeat that. You do one of the two questions, please. Question one. You can see the two images here. Look at the pictures provided. Write about a time when you, or someone you know, went on a journey. Your response may be real or imagined. 
and then base your response on the pictures provided if you wish. Question two is similar. Again, two images. Look at the pictures provided. Write about a time when you or someone received a gift. Your response may be real or imagined. You may base your response on the pictures provided if you wish. Now, in doing this work, it's quite important that you take it seriously, that you set aside 45 minutes. And if you can't do that now, uh, when you get this lesson, then carve out a time in your day, today, Saturday or Sunday, in which you can take 45 minutes and write this. Hopefully you can find uh, a period of time where you can work uninterrupted without distraction and produce uh, the best quality writing that you can manage. Uh, I recommend you take a little bit of preparation and planning time beforehand, but please try and limit yourself to the 45 minutes. And there we go. So I'm going to leave that work with you. Uh, the earlier you hand it in, uh, that you submit it through Teams, the better, and that I can get to it uh, and mark it this weekend, hopefully, if you get it done today. Next week, we're going to return to Romeo and Juliet. So I'm going to bring this in line with the rest of Year 11. Uh, all of Year 11 should be turning back to the Shakespeare study. And on Friday, we're going to do a progress assessment on the Romeo and Juliet. Now, we've done quite a bit of work on Romeo and Juliet. We've done quite a few assessments. I've got uh, a good collection of grades from previous work, but we do need to keep checking to see whether it's staying fresh in your mind, whether you are revising independently, and to check um, well, whether you're making progress with the topic. So there will be uh, a form of assessment coming up on Friday uh, that will be similar to what you're doing today. Uh, so with that in mind, you might want to uh, think about how you can revise for that independently though we will be spending lessons next week getting you ready for it as well. Uh, that's it for me for today. If you do have any questions or any concerns, by all means, please send them to me in an email and I'll try and get back to you as quickly as I can. That's all for me. Have a great day, a good evening, a fantastic weekend. Keep safe, keep healthy, and I look forward to seeing you in the classroom once again. We'll have a live lesson next week as well. But otherwise, take care and goodbye.